Oh, what's going on man if you guys want some badges on your my players make sure you hit up the best grinding service it's called goat plug now listen the link will be down below in the description make sure to tell them that cole the man has yo what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video if you're new to the channel welcome to the culture hopefully you guys are having a great day today i'm gonna give you guys five seconds to drop a like for all the beautiful Bull gang member of the day goes to my boy Duke. Duke says, I love you, Cole. Duke, I love you too. If you guys want to be Bull Gang member of the day, all you got to do is drop a like on the video, be subscribed, and comment anything. Now listen, I'm not going to waste your time. This video today, I'm going to show you guys the best dribble moves, 100%, the best signature styles. And I'm also going to show you guys how I dribble, and in my opinion, the best combos. I know a lot of you guys see other streamers play, but they don't really show you how to dribble. I'm going to go in depth. I'm going to show you guys with a live controller, everything. I'm going to show you guys not only my dribble moves, but the combos I do and the right times to do them. So if you guys could do me a small favor, man, just drop a like. It takes like two seconds. Every like, every comment helps the channel out so much and I appreciate you guys a lot. But yeah, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So if you're going to want to do all the combos that I show you guys, you guys are going to need exactly these dribble animations all these dribble moves the exact animations because if you don't it's not gonna work um, so the dribble style you're gonna want to put on is power normal crossover honestly you can put on normal three or pro two I'm gonna put pro two back on moving behind the backs put on pro five basic spins basic one moving spins you're gonna want to put on basic one uh, moving hesitations pro five Derrick Rose signature size up this is very important very OP move park size up does not matter Basic size up packages, you're gonna wanna put on Pro 2. And the size up escape package, Pro 5. Pro 5 is very important, make sure you have that on. And triple threat styles, it does not matter. But you're gonna want these exact dribble animations on. So this is what I'm doing in this video, pay close attention. I just showed you all my signature styles. Next up, I'm gonna show you the basic moves. Now second, I'm gonna show you guys how to get down the basics. Very simple moves. Every single one of you guys should learn how to do this with ease after I show you this, if you guys don't already know how to do it. Now the third part of the video is I'm gonna show you guys the combos, show you guys examples, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do those combos in the mic court. And finally, fourth, I'm gonna show you guys gameplay, live gameplay of me dribbling, no cuts or anything like that, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you guys how to dribble. Without further ado, man, let's hop right into it. Okay, guys, like I said, this part is gonna be very simple, very easy, and these are the moves. Oh, and by the way, I do have a little controller cam up at the top here, and uh, just to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. I put that up there just so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, and you're not gonna have you know any confusion. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so if you guys wanna do the curry slide, this I guess that's what it's called now. Uh, you're gonna want to hold the right stick down and to the right for like a second. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just for a second. Vice versa, if you guys want to do it to the left, you hold the right analog stick down and to the left for a split second. That's literally how you do it. That's one move that's gonna be a part of a lot of these combos I'm gonna show you guys today. All right, the next combo is the Derrick Rose signature size up. You're gonna want to hold the right stick up for like maybe half a second, like this. You see that right there? After you hold the right stick up for a second, you're gonna get a quick speed boost like this. Boom, you guys see this? Look how quick that is. Boom, boom. It doesn't work, it, you don't get the same exact speed boost every time, but you get it like 85% of the time in my opinion. That's also another basic move that I'm gonna show you guys how to chain with other moves. Get some combos down, but that is move two of the video. Now this next move is very simple. It might be a little complicated at first, but as soon as you practice, you guys are gonna learn how to do it. It is the crossover 16 cheese from NBA 2K15. Now, of course, it's not as overpowered as it was back then, but you can still do really good combos out of it. And if the ball is in your left hand, and you guys are going to want to do this right here. Now, if the ball is in your left hand, and you're going to want to do it to the right, you're going to want to hold the right stick up and to the right, kind of like northeast. If you guys know geography and you're not stupid. You're gonna wanna hold the right stick up northeast like this and you'll get that animation just like that. And vice versa, if you guys are gonna wanna do it to the left, you're gonna wanna hold the right stick up and to the left and you'll get that animation. Then eventually you can just do something like this. You can just go boom, 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 boom. And you go back and forth, okay? Now, of course, like I said, that's not gonna get you open, but you can chain dribble moves with that specific move. Now this next move I wanna show you guys is been around for a very long time and if you don't know how to do this I don't know what to say to you it's pretty simple it is the momentum crossover man if you guys want to know how to do the momentum crossover it is that move right there 
So what you're gonna wanna do is that the ball is in your left hand. You're gonna wanna be holding R2 the entire time. Do not let go of R2 at all or else you're not gonna be able to do it. So hold R2 and if the ball is in your left hand, you're gonna wanna flick the right stick to the right and then immediately go to the right with the left stick like this. Boom. Vice versa, if the ball is in your right hand, you wanna do a momentum to the left, you flick the right stick to the left and then go to the left with your left stick. It's like that, it's that simple. Um, make sure you're holding R2 at all times or else you're not gonna be able to do it. So the next and final basic move I'm gonna show you guys is the standing behind the back. And it looks just like this. And you can actually spam it. It's, you know what I'm saying, very simple. Um, the ball's in your left hand. It's kind of the same way as the momentum crossover. Instead of flicking it directly to the right, you're gonna wanna flick it southeast down into the right and then literally hold your left stick to the right and it'll look like that and then vice versa if you guys are going to want to do it to the left you flick the right stick down into the left and then move your left stick to the left that's the direction you're going to want to go in and then if you give it a quick pause you can actually combo it up like this and you can actually spam it um but yes, ladies and gentlemen, those are the basic moves. That's the basic tutorial. Now I'm gonna show you guys the combos that I do in the park and show you guys some examples and then show you guys how to do them in the my court. So let's hop right into it. All right, guys, this is the first example right here. So notice, I hit him with the behind the back curry, pull up, bang. That is a very simple move. Now I showed you guys how to do it. Let's watch it one more time. Once I'm right here, I hit him with the behind the back. Okay, I wait one second. Then I hit him with a curry slide and look how much space that created. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the my court right now. Now this part is gonna be pretty simple. I'm not gonna explain how to do the move once again uh, cause I just explained to you guys how to do it but I'm gonna help you guys with the timing. So if the ball's in my left hand, do the behind the back, wait a second and then do the curry. That's literally all you gotta do. Behind the back, left stick down into the left. And you guys aren't gonna believe how much space you actually get from doing that. I'm telling you guys, you guys don't have to over dribble. A lot of you guys are coming to this video thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to learn so much. It's very simple moves that get you open. You don't need to, you know, you gotta have high IQ and just do, you know, combos that make sense to get yourself open. Um, so that's the first example, let's hop into the next. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the full clip, break it down, and then show you guys how to do it in the my court. So here's the first clip, I'm coming up the court on the three score, I hit him with the curry, Derrick Rose, side to side with the curry, pull up, bang. Let's break that down one more time. I come up the court, I wait, I hit him with the curry slide, Next up, I'm gonna do the Derrick Rose speed boost and look how quick this is. Boom! So much space created. Now, I notice right here, I'm a little too far from the three point line. So I'm gonna try to fake this guy out and run back to the right wing so I can get open for a three and green the shot. So I hit him with the curry. Now notice, he is super close to me right now, right? He's really close to me. So I'm gonna hit him with a simple curry back to the right, boom. Now look, he's gone, he's not even near me. But I'm a little bit too far from the three point line, so I'm gonna speed boost off to the right, pull up, I'm wide open, easy green. Look how simple that is, bro. So the ball was in my left hand, I hit him with the Steph Curry cheese, down into the right, the Curry slide. Next up, I hit him with the Derrick Rose, you guys know how to do that, hold the right stick up for a split second, speed boost to the left, then I hit him back with the curry slide, and I wasn't near the three-point line, so I speed boosted over to the right. I pulled up, and I made it. Easy greens. Let's hop into the next combo. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna show you guys the full clip first. Just take a look at this move. Look at this combo, look at this combo. Ready? Ooh, hold on. Woo! Wide open pull up, almost half court greening. Now let's break that down. All right, guys, so notice I come up the court, and I don't know why Dr. 2K sent me screens. Doctor, go back over to the right. So notice that it's, it's pretty jammed up right here. I hit him with the curry slide over to the left. I pause, right? Hold on, I come over here. I pause. I was trying to go to the left, but this guy, Jay Crip was cutting me off to the left. I didn't have a shot. So I decided to hit him with the Steph Curry back. He's playing up on me, I can't do anything. So the only way that I'm gonna be able to get open from right here is either if I keep speed boosting to the right, but I think he's gonna clamp me up. Instead, I'm gonna hit him with the crossover 16, boom, okay? That still didn't get me open, but this is a good combo to hit him right back with the behind the back. Now take a look at this, boom. 
Look how much space I just created from that. Now I am a play shot, so I'm gonna be able to just pull up from deep. So boom, I tap L2, by the way, Quick disclaimer, I forgot to explain this in the beginning of the video and that's my bad. If you guys ever are running to the left or to the right and you guys want to stop quick, I know it's hard, sometimes you shoot fades, but what you're going to want to do is let go of everything and tap L2 and you'll get this thing called a quick stop and you'll be able to stop immediately and shoot the ball so you can't get contested. So like I was saying right here, I hit him with the crossover 16 behind the back. All that space was created. Now I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna let go of everything. I'm gonna tap L2. Now look at that. I'm wide open, I'm a play shot. I can shoot the three. I pull up, green release in his face. Hey, it's easy as that. Very simple moves can get you open in this game. Let's hop into the next example. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I was about right here on the court, the left side, left wing, somewhere around right here. So I hit him with the crossover 16. Now you guys know how to do that. You hold R2 and hold the right stick up into the left diagonal for a split second. And you get that animation right there. Now right after that, you know what I'm saying? I explained to you guys how to do the behind the back. Flick the right stick down into the right. And then hold your left stick to the right and you'll get that animation. So this is what it looks like. Boom, tap L2, pull up, green. That is the move right there. I don't know how to explain that any more simpler. If that's a word simpler, don't know. Um, but let's hop into the next move. I'm gonna show you guys another example of the same move I just did. I hit him with the crossover 16 twice. Behind the back pull up, I'm not scared to pull that up. I'm wide open, green with the play shot. I just wanna show you guys, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, this is a new combo that I haven't showed you guys yet that I typically do a lot. So I hit him with the crossover 16. Derrick Rose size up, pull up, green. So this is kind of similar to um, previous ones that I've showed you. And just so you guys know, all these combos are like literally revolved around the same exact moves that I'm showing you guys, just in different ways, different timings. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and break down this move. So notice right here, I hit him with the Hezzy. I go over to the left wing. I low key did have a shot, um, but notice I hit him with the crossover 16. And then right after that, I feel more comfortable going to the left wing. So right after the crossover 16, I hold the right stick up for a split second and speed boost over to the left, leaving me lots of room. I pulled up, bang, green. Guys, you know what I'm saying? These moves are very simple. I don't know if I need to explain it anymore. Now hopefully I am making this pretty easy for you guys. I'm doing my best to explain it as simple as I can. So this next clip I'm gonna show you guys, there's not really too much to break down. I'm just trying to show you guys how overpowered the Curry slide is. And if someone is playing to one of your sides too far, you should take advantage of it. Look at this guy right here. Notice I come up, boom, look at this. So I hit him with the Derrick Rose size up. Now I know this guy's gonna come over, he's gonna try to recover as fast as he can. So I simply hit him with the Steph Curry slide. Look at this, boom, where is he going? Now, I should have shot the three, but instead I pulled up the nice little midi, nice little two, we're already up by four, made it up by six. Um, so yeah, that's another example of how overpowered the Steph Curry slide is. Now I've already showed you guys the Derrick Rose signature size of the speed boost you can get out of it. I'm gonna show you guys another example of how overpowered it is once again. So notice how I get the ball right here. I hit him with the Steph Curry slide. Now, this guy, there's not much room to the left. So he's thinking that I'm gonna dribble over to the right, speed boost out of the Curry, go to the right and shoot for three. But instead, I'm gonna hit him with the misdirection. I'm gonna pause for one second. I'm gonna hold the right stick up, do the Derrick Rose signature style, and speed boost over to the left. Look at this. Boom! Look at this, I'm wide open. Did you guys see how fast that is? I'm, bro, I'm not even capping to you. These moves are the best. Wide open, pull up, bang, green, getting the sprites. If you guys wanna get sprites, put these moves on. Do these exact moves, you'll get yourself open. So obviously these moves are pretty easy to get open ISO, but I can't explain to you how simple and how easy it is, especially if you're using screens doing these moves. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, man. I might be putting y'all onto something, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, these are the moves I wanted to show you guys. That's basically it. So now I want to hop into some part gameplay. Let's hop into it. Nice. They gotta know. Look at that sprite. Come on now. It don't matter. <laughs> Yo, Jill. <laughs> Come on, baby, Sprite. Come on, baby. <laughs> Bro.
Bro, come on. That's from deep. That's still going in. Ooh, that would have been clean. Let me see that. Don't want to play? Ooh, I guess they don't want to play. Spin back's very simple. You run up and you literally spin the stick back. Very simple. And then flick the left stick down. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come guard me. That's Bang spray! <laughs> Hopefully these guys did help you and it was a lot of fun teaching you how to do this as the game goes on I am gonna get better at dribbling and I may even drop a more advanced dribble tutorial um, you guys probably saw me doing some moves that I didn't show um, uh, if you guys want a more advanced dribble tutorial man make sure to drop a like and that's it man but that's it man I'm gonna see you guys next time I'm out peace